This surgery was brutal. The psychologically twisted warden took the mouths and farts of hundreds of inmates hungry. He covered the prisoner with a piece of tissue paper and lifted and pure. A barrel of boiling water of 1365 degrees to his face. The image was too brutal to establish prestige. He took any disobeyed prisoners to a punishment. Not only did he fail to achieve his goal, it was also costing the prison a fortune in therapy. The warden, though, agreed. But in his heart, he was upset. He transferred his anger to the prisoner. Another disobedient prisoner has been captured. Not only did they give him a sex change operation, he had a chef cook his organs and put them on the table. It was psychopathic. The prisoner, too, and dauntedly, kept cursing him. The warden was furious. He wanted to kill him. He decided to kill all the prisoners who defy him. At this point, the assistant gave him a hard time. Soon the warden was armed with a tranquilizer gun. He anesthetized all the prisoners already in custody. Then the operation was going to begin. The warden was getting excited. He even started scratching his head. There's something wrong with the body. Those who can't attend the surgery were shot on the spot. And the human centipede surgery was to be performed. The warden was excited. After the successful surgery, he was eager to invite the governor to visit. He looked at this lawn, gluttonous snake, and was also stunned. And the warden excitedly introduced. This year's model prison would belong to him. The funding must be the lowest in the state. One man can eat and the whole prison can eat. And no one will ever break out of prison again. At this point, the governor's face looked like he was constipated. The governor was so angry that he cursed. And then he slammed the door and left. The surgeon came in. And without missing a beat, he praised himself as a genius. The warden looked at him like he's some kind of idiot. He just shot him in the face. Then he pointed it at the fat guy again. At this point, the governor suddenly returned. And said he approved of the method. He'll be running all the prisons from now on. The warden finally breathed a sigh of relief. And the fat man was proud of himself. His idea was not in vain. The warden wanted to hug him. Next, he was shot to death. The credit should go to his own. The movie ends here. Is this director's head full of feces? To film such a disgusting movie, and even three more in a row. Personal advice not to look at during dinner.